What's going on guys? My name is Consider and welcome back to the long drive. So it has been a little bit of a long time <laughs> uh, since I've made a video on this game and well we've made a little bit of progress. First off I tried to build the car and uh, it went well until it didn't. I, I tried to use a trailer and that just kind of ruined everything. So I reset the save and now we got it. Fully built and fully functional and it works wonderfully. I absolutely love this car. Everything fits inside the car now. We don't have to carry the trunk in the back seat. It's great. So we got paint and stuff down here. Uh, one of the Nada Snakes is easily accessible. We got the entire diesel can back there. More Nada Snakes down there. We got a lot of them. A uh, bus tire, a spare tire for us, and then nothing on that side. But yeah, nothing else really left to do except uh, go for another bit of driving. Unfortunately, that mirror is absolutely useless. It's like no visibility at the back at all. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this car so far. Oh, there's a bunny right there. I don't like that at all. We're just gonna roll away. And onwards we go with our journey. Now in the dream wagon. I love this car so much. What is that? That's a rock. Oh. Oh, God. I'm having a little bit of issue. Do we lose anything? Why is it going so fast with the engine off? It's crazy. It got going way too fast there. So far, we haven't even turned it on. This is, this is kind of good, I guess. And also a little bit terrifying. It's not exactly good at these speeds. Uh-oh. God, I just tried to hit the brakes. Don't hit the, don't hit the post. Okay, we kind of didn't hit the post. Did we lose anything? Thought maybe we lost something. But I think everything's fine. We just got a little overambitious with the speed there. But, uh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, we survived, we still have everything. That tire's only slightly trying to escape. The car looks fantastic. I got the bus bumper with all the headlights now. It's just, ah, this is the dream wagon. Seems we've had some movement in the back though. I have a feeling the knot of snake is probably not as easy to access as it once was. Those mountains just look monolithic. Like that looks like some sort of ancient temple. It doesn't look like a mountain. We do have another uh, I keep calling them air towers, but I think they're water towers. <laughs> we got another water tower over there, and then... Is that another... Oh, wait, is that another workshop? Oh, yes, if that is, then we can actually probably get this thing totally painted. I'd love to have just one proper paint color on this thing. Oh, yes, it is. It's another workshop. Ah. Praise be. We're just having such ridiculously good luck. Okay, so that reminds me, there's a motorcycle in the game now, and I was worried that on the save game it wouldn't spawn, but it seems that parts are spawning. It just added to the new generation, so we have a chance of getting a motorcycle at some point. I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of parts in here for it. Ooh, there's a bat. I want to hang that from the window. That is very intrusive. <laughs> Ooh, more blood. Let's definitely take that with us. We have to feed the bat somehow. That's like a motorcycle mirror. Just check myself out with this thing. Looking good. Let's just, in the meantime, shut this door for safety. The thing is, is that we have so much stuff now, we really don't even need anything. Oh, look at that, it's a little storage bin. Actually, I should go check on my on the fluids. Uh, we might be running low on something, because there's some oil in here. Diesel we don't need. It looks like we got a good amount of orange paint that even seems to be the same shade as each other. So we could actually get a full respray going in here. I do think I will be bringing this basket though. If for no other reason, then I think it'll be actually kind of useful to store stuff in. And I might bring some of these motorcycle parts. You know, in the light, I'm realizing that those aren't the same shades. Meaning we have a bunch of just different color paints and that's, that's not gonna help me much. There's a lot of paint in here. I just wish that there was two of the same color. Cause one of these is definitely not enough to paint a whole car. I'm gonna go for the good old back end this time. Okay, so we have light blue at the moment. I'm wondering how close this color is to that. That literally is the color. I just wasted 20 painting the door the color it already is. I hate everything. Maybe that isn't because that does not look the same. Nope, I guess it wasn't, but the problem is, is that now we don't have enough to finish the car again, so... There's that. I probably shouldn't have used any of this and just kept it until I found enough paint to match. I'm wondering if I can use the white to lighten up the orange. Alright, let's see. What does a full color of the light orange look like? Looks like that. I wonder if we can get the rest of the car to look like that. It's actually a little stronger than that. 
All right, we got 14 left and the car is, okay, apparently I actually didn't paint any of this enough. Oh gosh. So that's what we have. And that looks great if you forget that the other side of the car is entirely unpainted. So I'm hoping if I just stop at an early enough point that this will look close enough not to just be really jarring. You know, I actually wonder, can I get the whole car the bright orange? Because that other orange actually got it pretty close to the right color. Wait, we might actually have this here. I mean, that's more of a yellow, but I like that actually. Okay, I think we've done it. I think it looks all right. Now, are there any sponges in here? I have some, but I don't want to dig them out and I also don't want to use them if there's some available in here. Honestly, I mean, it's weird, but I honestly don't think there's a single sponge in here. That's, that's odd. Oh wait, I had two pink paints in here? When did I get those? I mean, I guess I just looked at them a minute ago, but I totally forgot about that. Well, I guess that that is good enough. We'll bring this white here just in case we want to paint the bike or something. I think one could do that and we'll keep the pink in case we want to paint a different car, which I doubt we'll ever do because this car is just so good. I'm wondering if I could fit this bike wheel in the side panel here. I mean, it's not, things aren't really going too well back there. I think I may have pushed my luck just a hair. Um, you know what? I actually wonder, hold on. Bad move, bad move, bad move. What if I just set it slightly down? Like not all the way, it's just, just a little bit. All right, we're gonna see how that goes. Just because I like having the cabin. Actually, you know what? That's a pretty stupid thing to do. I was gonna say, I like having the passenger seat open, so I'm just gonna leave the hood partially up. No, that's ridiculous. I'll just put this in the passenger seat like a normal person. Okay, it appears that we have 200 rounds in the glove box right now, so that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm still gonna bring these extra 30. Handbrake off, first gear, let's, let's stall. All right, so I'm seeing a little bit of color mismatch but it's not as bad as it could be. I'm, I'm happy with it. I, I, I think this car looks great. <laughs> I'm just happy to finally have a wagon and to finally have stuff in my back and not, you know, have to carry my trunk around at all times. Cause you know, I might want to put it back on at some point. <laughs> Although I am wondering, this car does feel a bit more unstable than the sedan. It could be the extra weight in the back, but really I would just think that this would make it more grounded. I mean, I'm not even sure how much this game takes weight and stuff into effect. I mean, if it does, I don't know, it could be the fact that we have this diesel can further up than before, closer to the center of the car. Like I said, I don't know. I don't even know if it takes that into account. On the bright side, everything about this car seems good. Uh, I think I checked the fluids before I drove it off after I built it, but I should probably take a pit stop at some point and check the fluids. All right, we don't even need to make a pit stop. I think that we can check our fluids right here right now on the road full coolant tank put a little blood in there <laughs> just to just to spice things up and four and a half liters of oil yep we are golden what's happening oh i'm scared oh i'm scared handbrake batman what happened i don't even know where to begin with my questions about this. I didn't do anything wrong this time, yet somehow my belongings are kind of everywhere. All right, well, this is not my favorite place to reorganize, but I don't think I have a whole lot of options. Oh, hope is such a stupid thing. Like, that's not the kind of thing you really wanna find out that you were wrong about. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Packing Simulator. Okay, so the idea is that we have spare tire access there, all our fuel and stuff we can get from the back here and we can open this and we can get to the knotted snake which we have an extra one up front anyway even if we can't get to that one okay lastly you need to go in there no no you weren't supposed to do that god i hate this thing ah uh, do i even need this tire like is this something i actually need i might just leave this behind honestly it's so frustrating to carry i wonder if it'll stay on the roof I'm doubtful, but it would sure be nice, and it would save me a lot of trouble. I'm also nervous if the car is even gonna move. I feel like something bad has happened. Nope, it's moving. And so far, that tire's staying. Curious as to how long it intends to stay with us, but for the time being, it appears to be holding. It seems like for the most part, stuff is crap, that's a rock. Where did that come from? Okay, so apparently the good one got knocked loose. So that was actually a good thing we hit that rock. 
Sometimes it is a good thing to crash your car into a rock. Don't forget that. I actually think, absent of any hard turns and hard braking, it should stay up there. So I think I would be totally safe to go back into first person and drive from here. Oh, real quick, I need to. I want to see what that is. It looks like it could be something, but I can't really tell. No, not that. Where is it? That? No, that's a cactus. Must be the distance. Wow, okay, wait, hold on. That is so far away. Look how tiny that watchtower is. It looks like a miniature. It's pretty far out, if you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Is that still on? Yep, the wheel is still on. Good on you, wheel. I would really like to find a new building. Actually, I'd, I'd really like to find as a bus. What the heck? Why? It was so stable before. It was so stable and now it's just this all the time. Oh my god. I've this is I've covered less distance in this episode than I ever have. And this has happened twice. All right. Uh I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. <laughs> I don't feel like repacking this car. I just spent a good like 20 minutes packing it the other time trying to get it chest right. Now it's just yeah. Now that's my adjective of choice for this moment. I'll repack this before the beginning of next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>